Hi, I'm Julian Shakespeare, and right now you're tuned into the Vibes Vibes Radio Station. Blessed love, people. The sounds of now. TV, Von Joseph here, Music for the Masses. I am with singer, reggae artist, R&B performer, Julian Shakespeare, all the way in Wales. Long journey for today, but uh, it was with great purpose. So, uh, welcome to the show. Blessed love, Von. Blessed love. Thanks for having, uh, having me today. And I found you, and I see that you made music, and... Reggae, but you say you do more than reggae. Yes. So what else have you got in the stockpile for us? Well, I got a little bit of soul music, a little bit of classical music that I've wrote that I'm working on. Uh, music is uh, continuous; it never stops. You know, Vaughn is you know it's an inspiration, and it, and it and it sends out such a good positive vibe. So I'm just my my category of music in the sense of what I can and can do. Is quite is quite you know deep. Yeah. You know what what got you started in doing music? Because I know we all grow up and we have our parents' music influence when we're kids. Um, is that where you got started? Where maybe was it in the church or? Yeah, it's it, it was basically just growing up around my parents, you know, and family members, you know, when we used to come together, and a lot of us love music, and we just from there it was just a natural progression. Some of my uncles played music, you know, and on my dad's side, his family is obviously renowned the Shakespeare's as mm. such, you know, so mm. it's there, you know, it's just something, and it's an expression, I think, of God in us, that that's why we do it, that's why we love it so much, you know, I think it's just, you know, it's a blessing, really. Yeah. What's been, like, your favorite part of being a musician? Well... Well, for me, is is many aspects to it because you know, through coming and meeting other people who are musicians and and have a feel for music and love of life, it um it brings a lot of unity and a lot of understanding and a positiveness that can actually help some people. Mm. It can bless them. It can give them a feeling of who they are. They're not alone. You know, when we express and sing and dance and make music, it's that as well, you know. There's so many things that are within the music. It's just a pity that a lot of music does not get that. It just becomes cheesy, mm. you know. So, for me, you know, meeting other musicians, great musicians, you know, the great Frankie Paul I met and... Uh, we talked and reasoned, he was a great influence to me in my life, you know, God bless his soul, you know, and many others as well, you know. Yeah, I think um, for me, like you said, um, it, it, it can make you feel a certain way. Yeah. And a lot of times we come together through music, like you said, yeah. you know, it's, it's something, whether it be in the church or just at a, at a concert. Yeah. It's uh, amazing how it unifies people. Yeah. And we attach, at least for me, attach music to our experiences in life. Right. Whereas, you know, you might have a favorite actor, but you're not thinking about, you know, Denzel Washington, you mm -hmm. know, when you went on your first date or something. Yeah. You know, you yeah. remember that song that was playing <laughs> at the club yeah. or at the cafe or whatever, right? You looked at me. And right, <laughs> right. And you're not going to be like, yeah, Denzel was on the TV. You know, no one cares about that. Yeah. Music is a, such a different level. Yeah. You know, because it's our soundtrack to our life. It is, isn't it? You know? you know, it really is. And I mean, you know, even going to church and singing in the church choir for a little time, you know, that has its experience as well. That has its motive and that has its reason, you know, it's, it's, it, it's music, there's no boundary to it, you know, it's right. not, it's not a box, we, you know, no one can say, you know, when we hear the tune, we don't know who's made it, what they will probably don't care, it's what that music says, Yeah. you know, that's the most important thing of it, you know. Are you still writing music now, or? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you know, it's a... It's up and down, it's, you know, it's emotive, 
very emotive because sometimes when you're going through things, it's it's it can be quite easy to write them down, and then in other times it's not so easy, mm. you know, to express that, you know, but in a way that is expressive that people can listen to and understand it because sometimes when you're writing your own lyrics, your own rawness can be too overpowering. Right. It, you know, not sending the right message or a positiveness. Walk me through the creative process, because you said, you know, there's all these different paths that it can go down and so on, but how do you come up with music and you say, you, you know, sometimes it's harder to write. And yeah. Walk me through that, that process. What is like the, the most difficult part and the ex most exciting part for you writing your own stuff? Because I can imagine it, it must be difficult. Sometimes it kind it kind of is one. It's it, it, it's difficult because when you process what you're doing, it's like everything. You work at it. You have to work at it. it, it, it. Some people are naturally gifted. They can just write and they can write. You're blessed by that talent. Yeah, yeah with that natural talent, mm -hmm. it's just. But it has to be harnessed. You know, they might have the talent, but it has to be harnessed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's for me when I'm when I'm making songs or making a vibe or a, a rhythm or something's coming to me I just work from that mm. you know from that one drop or from to this or to that and it might it might take me six months it might take me a month it might just take a day an hour you know it just depends it just depends but in the but in the time of to write lyrics and build them constructively you know that is time that I spend a lot more time on, right. you know, to work, you know, because it's obvious that what i got to say has to be expressed in the right way, you know, mm. and my own standard just won't let me just say anything. Why, right, right, right. Wanna... So, I, so sometimes my biggest problem is myself sometimes, in, 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 a, in a way, if you can understand what I mean. Yeah. But, yeah. So do you do it all by yourself? Or do you well, have like a band? Or? I, I am a solo artist. Mm. You know, I have been in bands in the past and, you know, and everything is an experience. You know, I sometimes go and jam with some, some people I know, sometimes, you know. But every, things have changed, you know. It, the spirit of the music is changing, mm. you know. So things are not the same. So everything is different again, boy, you right. know. But I, I, I enjoy working with other artists, seasoned artists, and I've worked with... Um, some of the great musicians as well, yeah. you know, you know, so for me, that's experience, that's what it's about, you know, you can have a band, but if they become stayed, yeah, then yeah. there's a problem, something, something you because, don't want, yeah, I, fo I, I found that bands can become monotonous, mm. you know, if you could work with anybody right now, who would you be working with, like, if you just like a one-off collab with somebody, who would you like to jam with? Oh, I love to, to work with Barry Salmond. Yeah. That'd be he's a proper musician. Benji Myers is another one, a great, great musician. You know, wow. And some good producers I'd like to work with too because it's it's important too, mm. you know. But there's so many, well, there's so many great artists out there, you know, besides those that I've I, I know already, you know? It's too big to say. Yeah. It's too big to say, to be honest, you know. So is there, is there a thriving scene here for music? It, it is. It is a, a, a scene, yeah. I wouldn't say it's thriving, mm. you know, but there is a scene, yeah. And then again, it's a collective amount of people that are in that and controlling that a little bit, what we, we discussed earlier. Right. It's that element in there. So I don't find myself out amongst them or getting any work from around the area that I'm in, which mm. is funny, mm. you know, you know, as an artist. But, you know, I can't fight against that. It's not for me to, to do that. I have wondered about that. Right. But in life you find that people got their own agenda. Yeah. And, and it is that. You know, sometimes people, have, people like us, they're more hateful to us mm. than, they, than, than without reason. And it, and my mind boggles at it. So, you know, in another sense. So there is a scene here, but it's not much. No. You know, and it's the same set of people all the time. Mm. 
you know. So it's really tight knit then. It's tight knit. Yeah. yeah. Have you thought about relocating to music yeah, or anything yeah, like that? Yeah. yeah, my options are open. I, I, I mean, I'd love to go to America to go and better myself, but I'd also like to go to Europe. Yeah. You know, I'd like to go to certain parts of Africa. I'd like to go to certain parts of anywhere in the world, to be honest. Yeah. You know, if that myth music took me there, or well, I would go there, mm -hmm. I don't have a, a qualm about that at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten into? <laughs> I can't answer Next that question, that please. Yeah. Please, please move on. I am humble, but not that humble. <laughs> What's the best advice that anybody's ever given you with regards to either music or life? If you could give some advice, if you could give some advice, how about that? If you could give some advice to the young musicians coming up, like what should their mindset be? Don't give up, or what, what would you give as advice? Well, the first thing I tell them is, you know, you've got a gift, you're blessed, you know, follow that dream. As little as it starts, as it might be a trickle, keep going with it. You know, don't let your aspirations be disappointed because someone else didn't see that what you have in you at that time. Don't let that be the thing that tells you for the rest of your life, I can never do it, I can never do this, or I can never do that. You know, you can do whatever you really want to do, just keep working, keep trying, do it for you, do it because you love it. For when you love something, it won't matter what someone else is saying, though you will let a lot of people have noticed that come across and will be negative mm. and say that you're not good enough. But mistakes, you will make mistakes. But don't beat yourself up. Keep on. Keep trusting. Keep praying. You know, find out what it is. And you will know. Right. You know, you will know. So, to those out there listening, I just send a word of love, hope, and understanding. And regardless, whatever you do or come across, never, ever stop loving yourself. You hear you? Never, no matter how much someone else makes you feel or look or wants you to react, overcome, learn, grow. Blessed people. Where can people find you with regards to like social media, you, like Facebook? Or yeah, anything? I'm on Facebook uh, as, as I am, Julian Shakespeare, you know, um, all they have to do is go onto the Facebook, they can meet me, they can catch hold of me there, send me a, a message if they're interested and would like to work with me, mm. or hear my talent and that in some sense. Yeah, it's okay. Excellent. Well, we wish you all the best with that, Thank and uh, if we can ever help you, let us know. That's what we're here for, that's what we do. Yes. And uh, Vibes TV, man, that's it. So we're done. Bless and pleasure.